Here we have ready-made kits, seven things to send to the front line already painted with magnets, camera, monitor, cable and lighter plug. Volodymyr shows his development, a night vision device for those drivers in the armed forces of Ukraine who need to ride in complete darkness for the sake of safety. The first one, he says, was made more than six months ago, and since then the production has not stopped. All analogs of thermal imagers are sent to the front line. A friend turned to me, whose father is on the front line in Avdiivka, and says they drive cars, but the bottom line is that they drive without turning on the lights. This is the first time I heard that headlights are forbidden to be turned on at the front line. Backlight near, far, no light. To create such a homemade thermal imager for Volodymyr was a challenge. He says he went through more than two dozen surveillance cameras and displays before choosing the best option. In order for it to work, what we need is just to fix it on top of the car on neodymium magnets. A monitor with a double-sided tape mount on the panel clings and turns on the lighter. And then, without any clicks, we start the video. Visibility with this design is 50 meters. For drivers, this is quite enough to reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour in complete darkness. The first such device that we made went to Avdivka for my friend's father. We sent it and the most difficult thing was waiting for the result. Will it make sense or not? Then he calls, says, super, keep up the good work. This added to the enthusiasm. We bought several cameras, several monitors and made several devices. We are driving in complete darkness. The headlights are off, the lights are off. After test drives on the front line, there were so many orders from the military that Volodymyr no longer had time to make them on his own. He attracted friends to his work, and then he recorded a step-by-step -step video instruction so that everyone could repeat his invention. In social networks it scored about 140,000 views. We take the cable, snap it, take the near shrink, for reliability wrap with electrical tape. My phone was red, I charged three times a day, I don't know where people found my phone number, on Facebook maybe. There were 50-60 calls a day, I didn't have time. Gathered a team and we did send up to 20 devices every day. Office workshop Volodymyr equipped at home in one of the rooms. For six months the volunteer, together with the team, manufactured and sent to the front more than 2000 thermal imagers for cars. After the success of the first invention, Voldemort, together with his godfather, began to develop a new one. They created a ground-based drone, which with military personnel can now send ammunition and food supply to the front line. At the beginning there was such a version, a lot of my friends are at war. I talked with them, they told me to come up with something so that they would not carry food in their hands, ammunition, it's all heavy. Such a cart runs on electricity and is controlled by a remote control, silent, all-terrain and can carry up to 300 kilograms, distance reserved 10 kilometers. The first model was also equipped with a camera. According to the inventors, it could serve both for reconnaissance and as a kamikaze drone. Stuffed it with explosives and let it go forward, press the button, there it is. The second is a scout. We installed the camera and drove forward a kilometer turned around, looked at what was happening there. Thirdly, this is a mine detector. They put a mine detector and let a car in front of the convoy and if it found a mine, it squeaked. When the first version appeared at the front, the guys were very pleased, because two men go and do not carry ammunition in their hands, but go and control it. The second model of such a ground-based drone will be designed to evacuate the wounded, volunteers say. We have a frame on which the motor is fixed, wheels with motors of 1 kW. They all converge in the control unit. Here we have a battery, we have a receiver that receives a signal from this remote control. And there are two speed controllers. The developers say they still have to finish the backlight and the body for the stretcher and the drone will be ready to be sent to the front. Reported by Roman Smoller, Svetlana Malanyuk, UATV News.